no. Certainly doesn't look good at all. Not at all. You know what? I think we need to, we checked his blood pressure, and I think that even though we gave him some pressers earlier, oh no, we're gonna have to intubate because he's not doing well. He's not protecting his airway. Can we get an intubation team? We need an intubation team stat. He's not protecting his airway. Hey, today is his birthday. Today is his birthday? Today is his birthday. The blood oh. test did come back and it showed fentanyl the, and cocaine. Oh Lord. The blood test showed fentanyl and cocaine? Fentanyl and cocaine oh. positive. And he just flatlined. We, we lost him. We lost him. I'm so tired of this. Doc, that's six this week. This is the sixth patient this week. This is happening way too often. You know what? And you told me that today is his birthday? Today is his birthday. He has a family member in the waiting room. I think it's his girlfriend. His girlfriend. So we're going to have to explain to his girlfriend that he just died on his birthday. The, the cause of death would be definitely fentanyl overdose. This is fentanyl. And we see it all the time. He probably had some cocaine and didn't know it was laced with fentanyl. And so here we are again for the sixth time this week. Lord, help us. It's too much. The time of death is 1033. Fentanyl overdose. All right. Thank you so much. We did everything we could. And they've been in the back for a while working on him. I'll see you when you get here. Please take your time and be careful. Okay. Bye-bye. Hi, are you are you Miss Tanya Rowe? I am. Um, were you with the gentleman who was in room two in the emergency room, Mr. Quentin Smith? I was. Okay, I'm Dr. Williams. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you have a seat, please, ma'am? How's he doing? Okay, first I want to tell you that we worked on him for a very, very long time, almost an hour, okay? Okay. I also want to let you know that we found fentanyl in his blood and he didn't make it. I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's his birthday today. Oh my gosh, his mom, oh, what am I going to tell her? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Miss Rowe. We did everything we could possibly do. I'm so sorry. I know it's difficult. I know this is not easy. I know it's not easy. And I know you love them. I want you to just sit here and just, pre just process all of this, okay? okay? As best you possibly can. Okay. And if you need anything, we have counselors on board here that can, can walk you through this, mm -hmm. okay? And we have a chaplain. I already called his mom. She's on her way. Okay. Okay? She'll be here soon. Thank you. I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus? How does Jesus lead you? He leads me and guides me along the way. Oh, if he leads me, I cannot stray. I think I'll 
say that one more time. Lead me and guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, oh Lord, lead me. Mr. Smith, the doctor can see you now. We'll show you to the room. Still I ride.
tell Jesus, for Jesus can help me. Jesus can help me. Jesus can help me. And Jesus alone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, good morning. How are you? Well, seems like we just uh, we just saw each other. <laughs> it feels like it's the same. I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, I'm still trying to get over what just happened. I mean, it's happening too often, and I'm just like, Look, please let nothing else this day. You know, you know. Uh, you it's, know. It's still going on. It ain't over. Woo! So, tell me about who's in room 35. What we have? So, this patient is Tanya. She's the girlfriend to the man that we lost this morning on his birthday from the fentanyl overdose. Why, why, why is she in the hospital now? She decided to go home and end her life. What? And took the rest of the drugs. Oh, my Lord. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. She didn't get all the way out of here, though, right? Somebody she probably did. stopped her she, before I, I, she I got home, right? I ran after her, but she was already trying to take the rest of the drugs. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Okay. All righty. Thank is, you. She is stable. She is okay. alive. Okay. She She's just not happy about being here. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Miss uh, Miss Rowe. We met earlier, and um, first of all, you know why we had to keep you here, right? What gives you the right to keep me here? Well, Miss Rowe, they said you tried to go home and end your own life, and so by law. If somebody is a threat to either themselves or somebody else, we have to keep you and we have to observe you. It's my body, it's my life, so I get it. But you have to understand that even if your life is not important to you, it is important to us. And Miss Rowe, <laughs> even greater than all of that, your life is important to God. I do not want to... I do not want to hear that God stuff. Okay, I hear what you're saying. I don't know your past or your history, but I mean, I don't know if you're a woman of faith. I don't know if you grew up in church. I, I don't know. Actually, I did. Excuse me. Actually, I did. Um, my granny took me to church when I was a little girl. Those were the best times of my life. I remember those days, and those were the best dinners. But we were in church all day, and I remember her teaching me about the Bible. Uh, I think I remember a few of those characters. It was Moses and Noah and Samson and Delilah. She was like, Tanny, you better not end up like that fast, Delilah. Samson didn't have a chance. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I know what she was talking about. And then my favorite one was Peter because she said, he was a cusser and a fighter, and I just would laugh. I was like, Brandy, they had thugs back in Jesus' day. <laughs> so I, 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 I remember those times, and she said, baby, I want you to listen to me. Stop being so silly. And she said, if you ever find yourself, what was the word, going wayward, she said, you find yourself a church, and you get close to the Lord. And I didn't understand it when she was saying it. But when I got to high school, I began to get with the wrong people, and then I made a whole lot of bad decisions. And my granny passed away, and I remember what she said, and she told me to go back to church, and that's what I did. But when I got there, it was the looks and the whispers and the stares and the treatment that I got. And when I got the, when I felt those things, I just decided, you know, I'm going back out there to where I'm accepted. And so that's why I say no church for me. I'm not dealing with those people. Wow. Well, you know what, I, you know, I, I'm so sorry. 
And Tanya, what you're describing is something called church hurt. And church hurt is a real thing. But I want you to know that it seems like from what you're saying, you were looking at people and not looking at God. But aren't those people a representation of Christ? <laughs> yeah. They're so, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. I give you that. They're supposed to be a representation of Christ. But sometimes if they're not fully healed, hurting people hurt people. <laughs> so what you have to do, Tanya, is you have to forget people, honey. Because guess what? Your validation does not come from them. God loves you, and he can use you. No matter what your history, your past, whatever it was, God can still use you. Do you understand me? So you can't let people run you down, and you have to understand that God can use imperfect people to bring about his perfect will. So what I need you to understand in this moment is that the devil wants to take you out of here. And what you're going through is something called spiritual warfare. And anytime you're in a battle, you need to know the weapons that you need to fight that battle. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Because the weapon that you're, the war that you're fighting, this whole suicide thinking and all this kind of stuff, suicidal ideations and thoughts, that right there is a spiritual battle. And you cannot fight a spiritual battle on a fleshly turf. You just can't do it. And see, what you have to understand is this. You're trying to fight with your hands. You're trying to fight with your whatever else, but you can't fight with flesh. You can't fight with carnal stuff, okay? In order to fight this battle, you got to understand like 2 Corinthians 10 and 4 says, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Right. Casting down imagination, suicidal thoughts, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So, Tanya, what I need you to understand is that the next time that devil brings a thought to you, the weapon that you're going to use has to be the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Let me tell you, Tanya, that blood that was shed on the cross when he died for you and when he died for me over 2,000 years ago, that blood... It still works. <laughs> I said, it still works, Tanya. I know you're not listening to me. You may not believe me, but listen, if that devil comes to you again telling you to take your life, you need to know that your weapon is the blood of Jesus. Do you mind if I just say a quick prayer with you real quick? Lord, in the name of Jesus, this is your child. And Lord God, I'm just asking that you will hold her hand and that you will show her how much you love her. Protect her, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Now, go ahead and get some rest. I'll check on you in the morning, okay? If we need to keep you 72 hours, we're going to have to do what we have to do. But let's hope it doesn't have to come to that, okay? Okay, get some rest. Tanya, my child, I knew you before you were born. I love you, and I have the perfect plan for your life. No, no. He has no plan. You need to live for yourself. There's a whole new world out there that will accept you for who you are. They love you. That's who loves you. The world loves you. It's time for you to think for yourself and for you to have some fun. Come on, let's have some fun, Tanya. Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh, hey, Tanya. What's up? I got some moves. It's going to get you moved. Hey, drink it. Don't be scared. Try it. Now drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a little too 
too much now. Get my stuff back. You're high, you look like you're drunk, and I know you're broke. Can you get paid? Can you get paid? I, I'm gonna show you how to get paid. Put your hands on your hips and let your butt go <laughs> Strike a pose. Now, Work it. you see what I did? I want you to do it too, okay? Open your eyes. Now, come on, come on. Now, now, stretch your stuff. Yes, work it, girl, work it, girl. To the left, yes, strike a pose, there you go. Show me what you're working with. Come on, baby, come on, baby, yeah. Come on now, come on, keep on coming, keep on coming. <laughs> Stand up straight. Yeah. I know you high and probably a little drunk too, but okay, you get straight enough so you can get paid. <laughs> you make a little money. About this money, though. Come on, come on. No, you get no less. You see, no, no, no. You over here. Uh -uh. You ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. No, stay right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Right here. Be still. Be still. The blood of Jesus. 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 My child. No weapon formed against you shall ever prosper. I love you, and I would never leave you. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. I was not expecting you to be, like, so happy. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? You look, you look happy. I mean, am I, am I reading that right? You're right. Um, I had a dream that I was fighting my inner demons and I was fighting for my life and God showed me that my life is worth living. I did what you said, I remembered to plead the blood of Jesus and it works. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wow. I'm so happy. Can I just give you a hug? I'm so happy, thank you Thank Jesus. you. Guess what, your family is here because they were so worried about you. So they came to see about you. Do you mind if I bring your family sure. in? Sure. All right, I'll sure. be right back. Excuse me. Are you all the family of Miss Tanya Rowe? Yes. I know you've been worried about her. Um, but do y'all mind coming on in and seeing her now? She's, I'll, I'll let her tell you how she's doing, okay? Okay. Here's your family. <laughs> And 
and you have a big family. Yes. Now, I know you were telling me about your grandma and all this stuff, <laughs> but let me tell you. <laughs> Y'all know you said your grandma, <laughs> your grandma used to read the word and all that. Did, did y'all, did y'all, your family ever used to sing at all, anything like that? Uh, yes, all of them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, your family came to see about you this morning. And family, thank y'all. Listen, y'all can hurry, y'all can, y'all can, y listen, I just have to tell y'all this morning, I know you've been calling me all night long. Yes. Right. You must be her sister. Yes. Okay, you've been calling, and where's auntie? Where's auntie? Auntie. I feel like I know everybody, okay? But I just want to let y'all know that yesterday, the reason she was in here is because, you know, she wants to end her life. Ask her how she's doing this morning. I'm blessed. <laughs> what you say? We couldn't hear you. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. You're blessed. It's all right, y'all. It's all right. Tell me what happened. Like, tell you said you had a bad dream, but what did you do to help you I through the dream? I pleaded the blood of Jesus, and it worked. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted the family to know that I did not do anything. I'm her doctor, but all we did was we admitted her. Auntie, I'm telling you the truth. That's so all we did was we admitted her, and we put her in here. We thought we were going to have to keep her for about 72 hours, but look at God. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So what this proves is that the blood still works. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I don't mind. I have a few more patients, but I don't mind getting my praise on right here in this hospital room because the blood still works. Amen. I said the blood still works. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Help us still work. It still has power. It still has power. It still has power. The blood still works. 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 It still has power. It still has power. It still has power. It still has power. The blood still works. 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 It will never. It will never. It will never. The blood still works. The blood still works. It still has power. It still has power. It still has power. It still has. It still has power. It still has power. It still has power. The blood still works. 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 Hey, it still works. It still works. It still works. It still. The blood still works. The blood still works. The blood still works. Hey, yeah. Something about that blood. Something about that blood. Something about that blood. Hey. The blood still works. Hey, yeah. The blood still works. 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 It will never.